Hello and welcome back to uh, my channel, Carp Graph UK. Um, yeah, this evening we will be um, talking about probably the most basic rigging, carp fishing to be fair. It definitely started me off and my brother off when we was kids, um, which will be the standard knot this knot. It's accounted for absolutely millions of carp caught all across the country and probably probably one of the most underused ones today to be fair with all the rigs out there but especially for fishing a uh, spread of boil is a great great rig still um and really really standard uh and you can fish it as a a, a supple braid um a coated braid with, with with the ends you know the with the hook section stripped back um so you've got a uh, a supple section to allow the hook to turn around and, and go into the fish the fish's bottom lip um yeah so many so many different materials can be used with that 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 way of fishing um yeah like i say i'll show you for example right again it's a rig up it's a it's a uh just use a coated braid of your choice again at the moment i'm using the end trap because you can use it for so many different things uh that's the only reason so let's tie this rig strip off roughly 12 inches again allow yourself a bit to play with three to four inches off one end like so yeah then do a loop for your hair overhand loop yeah like that pinch it together go back on itself like so and with me i've got so big a fingers you can't even see what i'm doing on there but hopefully we all know what an overhand loop is just to create the hair then with the aid of the baiting needle See, I've done this for years, and size of my hands, it's, <laughs> it's impossible sometimes. But, uh, yeah, like I say, overhand loop, with the aid of the baiting needle, go back through, grab the loop with the baiting needle, and just push it back through like so. And there you go. There's your loop. Rather than cut that away, just make it part of the rig, easy to lock your baits in place with a couple of knots anyway so there you go like so yeah two knots there down the rig and you and you loop for, for your hair right nice and easy now just just saying that you, you, you know you're fishing a so nice basic 18 mil straight out the bag bottom bait i always always prefer to have a nice gap between the bottom of the bend of the hook there roughly five to ten mil i have gap between the hook and the bait it just gives you better a cold that's all right now trapping after guesstimating, remember, rather than guesstimate, you can always put a bait on here. Put a bait on, slide your air stop through the loop, pull it, pull it all down nice and tight. That way you can get it exact. If you're sitting at home trying to load rigs up, you can get it exact that way. That way, right, let's trap it like that. And then again, working away from the manufactured gap in the hook, you go seven times. Seven turn, not this knot right back through again going back so that the material comes out point side like so yeah nice and easy right then you've got your nice supple section nice supple section there there you go right nice kicker like i say 
Um, I usually use shrink tube rather than today's kickers you can buy. I usually use shrink tube to be fair. Um, that just stems back from the days as well where you used to do the liner liner. You used to pull the braid back through the shrink tube to create a liner liner. Um, I don't do that nowadays. It's not, it worked out over the years, not necessary to be fair. As long as you've got some sort of kicker, the hook does turn better and go in the, you know, and twist into the fish's lip better with a kicker. Without a, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Um, and I know a company's just bought out a extra wide gape book which i'm interested in having a look at because i really like a wide gape book i'd like them to be as wide as the cranks to be fair um yeah i really would like them to be um as wide as the cranks the crank hook um you know i very very rarely use it the crank but when i have the hook holds well <laughs> i've been meant to work holds uh, really good but uh, yeah and there you go that is the finished article the only difference to the bow back rig is you haven't got your rig rig on there you literally just have your bait underneath the hook a great rig it's caught oh, couldn't even tell you how many fish that so that's so basic rig is caught but um yeah just a great rig if you're fishing over a spread of baits it really really is or just getting started you know it's an excellent starting point in carp fishing that rig it really is but again you can use this in so many forms you can use it you could tie it straight through fluorocarbon you know but just remember if you're going to tie it on a straight through fluorocarbon use it in the lower diameters the 10 the 12 the 15 it's not you don't get great hook holds and I think it cuts down your bite. So when you start trying to use it in the 18, 20 and stuff like that. Because if a fish is coming at the wrong angle, it can't physically suck the bait back to itself because it's got, because the thicker the fluorocarbon um, hook length material is, the less likely it is to be able to fold back it, in, it you know, fold back into the fish's mouth. So just bear that sort of thing in mind as well, because it all, it all uh, you know adds up to whether you're going to get a bite or not you've really got to think about the angles them fish could be coming at as well um yeah it's not just about getting a rig in the water it's the angles and um the heights they might be sucking the bait in at and you know loads of things to take into account but yeah like i say at the moment you've got the kicker section there you've got a kicker on there and you've got the supple section to allow that hook to move nicely on the braid that's lovely if you want to you, you know if you want that to, to, to cast the rod out, feather it down, and that's a fall away lovely, that is a great rig to cast out like that. You know, either with your swivel on this end with a figure of eight loop knot, or just looped onto a uh, quick chain swivel. But you can also, we can also get rid of all this coated coat, coating off of this braid. Um, yeah and it's a it's um a rig that i caught the um the essex manor stellar a couple of times on to be fair in a pop-up version and a bottom bait version so uh yeah and that fish has been around a long long time but yeah and there you go you can have it also as a supple braid and like i say i'll quickly show you again you know it's no different to what i've done there um you can have it on a fluorocarbon you can tie exactly the same follow i won't show you because it, you know i feel like i'm teaching how to suck eggs otherwise um, um you know because you've literally just got to get a fluorocarbon and tie that exactly the same way i just showed you on that and it will catch your fish providing you do not go too thick you want the lower diameters that way they'll be able to suck it into their mouth efficiently and effectively for that hook to hook them start going 18 20 and above that will not work at every angle just bear that in mind guys it will not work at every angle do you know what while we're here we will we'll show you it 
we'll show you it in a, in a low diameter fluorocarbon. We'll show you it on uh, what have we got here in the box? Right, let's go fifteen pound. I do like a bit of ESP Ghost. Used it for many, many years, many years. Don't get me wrong. There's loads of others out there. Loads of others. You know, I was with, with Rigmarole for a long, long time. Um, you know, sponsored by them for a long, long time, and they've got some good. I dare say now, even though they've changed um, ownership, that um, it's still a good fluorocarbon today. But yeah, there's loads out there, loads and loads. Whatever you prefer in your fishing now will do you, to be, to be fair, I would dare say. Um, all I will say to you, especially in fluorocarbons, is be careful how you knock some of them. And be and make sure that if you do buy fluorocarbon up length material that you ain't used to using, please follow the manufacturer's guide on how to knot them because they all don't take to knots very well. Um, and believe me, I've known I've known um, fluorocarbons to take a four turn grid or not lovely but yet for it to snap on a five turn um i've known them to snap on um over at you know the, the uh just a loop knot that you attach that you attach to your uh quick change swivel but yet a figure of eight loop knot's fine you've just got to go by the manufacturer's um what they say is best just follow it to be fair follow it you won't go far wrong by it and if you do you can always complain but honestly just just go by whatever it says on the packet right sorry waffling i'm not really telling you what's going on here right here we go 15 pound soft ghost overhand loop for your hair one end size five Wide gape. Wide gape hook of your choice. I'll let you know. I use angling iron, to be fair, nowadays. Um, but yeah, I have no... I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but that's what I, cho I choose to use. Um, right. There we go. Just pinch it up like so. And again... Working away from the manufacturer's groove in the hook so that so it doesn't pinch through there and uh, the hooks come off. Right, working away from that seven turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. Material to come back out point side again of the hook. Right, so lovely. Look at that. Lovely. Right. And I still prefer to use a kicker on it. You still get better hook holds. And it keeps keeps it all nice. Like so. Look at that. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. And there you go. And like I say, I recommend like I say, I use Ghost for a lot of my fluorocarbon hook lengths and a figure of eight loop knot in this stuff is mustard. It really is. It is it you pull boats in a bit to be fair. It is strong. Um but again, you know, I wouldn't you know if you're fishing up against snags, etc. Unless you're fishing for you know, small fish um, up against snags, I recommend you use coated braid. Um, you've got more chance in landing them, whereas the fluorocarbon will part. Um, yeah, so just think about where you actually want to present this rig because out in open water, etc., brilliant. Faultless. Up against snags, wouldn't dream of it. 
not to say you wouldn't land a lot of them but obviously coated with a coated braid you will land more bites without a doubt without a doubt and there you go figure of eight loop knot the other end pull it all down like so get your pulling tool through the eye i like to get it through the eye when i'm using fluorocarbon get it through the eye pull it right up onto the handle like so that way when you pull it all together you get a lovely loop form like that a real nice loop yeah there you go and there you go guys there we have the knotless knot rig and don't forget you could do anything with it again you can blob putty along it um, on the braid or the fluorocarbon look length yeah help it sink I hope that gives you an insight to the always awesome knotless knot rig like I say they're probably the most basic but probably one of the most effective rigs there is in carp in January at some point um, you know a lot of people asked me last year about if I'm going to do any tutorials um, I'm going to try and do well I'm definitely going to do one next year um, I'm going to do an auction for a 48 hour session for me uh, with me sorry um, it's going to be a 48 hour session with me for around about um, June time uh, middle to the end of June um, which will probably um, involve uh, 24 to 40 to 36 hours fishing as well as walking a couple of lakes and rivers um, basically looking at watercraft and all aspects of it obviously you can choose as well you know if you was to win uh, the auction you can choose on what we concentrate on on that tutorial so yeah that's going to be coming up uh, and like I say I hope that will um, I hope to be doing that sometime at the end of January if you like the video guys give us a thumbs up smash that subscribe button click the notification bell that way you'll be notified when our next other vlog go live or another rig video one thing's for sure, whether we're in here, talking rigs, talking carp, or whether we're out in the bank, we will see you again soon. All the best, guys. Thanks again for watching. All the best.